Welcome to my tea party. We dummies are speaking to Harvey Golub, whose editorial, My Response to Buffett and Obama, was an instant hit among the dummies. The editorial was published on Monday by Rupert Murdoch's Wall Street Journal, where you can find the news of the world. This is part two of our program. You can access part one by following this annotation. Oh, and for you dummies who don't know, this isn't really Harvey. It's a dummy. We find that our audience prefers to get their information from dummies. Dummy, you were telling our listeners why the top marginal tax rate shouldn't be raised to 39.6% from 35%. Because you resent that Warren Buffett thinks you're coddled. Ah! And you resent that Obama doesn't think you deserve your money. Ah! And that he wants to spend it as he thinks fit. Ah! You also mentioned that you spend 90% of your income on taxes. Ah! Is that right? That's what I wrote. You sure did. Please go on. Others could pay higher taxes if they choose. They could voluntarily write a check, or they could advocate that their gifts to foundations should be made with after-tax dollars and not be deductible. They also could pay higher taxes if they were not allowed to set up foundations to avoid capital gains and estate taxes. Something which you clearly don't do, since you pay 90% of your income to Uncle Sam. That's right. Please go on. What gets me most upset is two other things about this argument. The unfair way taxes are collected. <coughs> Wait a minute. How are taxes collected from your carried interest and capital gains income? Can we keep this strictly for dummies? I'm talking about how the government steals money directly from your paycheck. <coughs> That's unfair. Americans should just declare what their income was at the end of the year and pay the taxes on that. That's a great idea. Like in Greece. Yippee! What also upsets me is the violation of the implicit social contract between me and my government that my taxes will be spent effectively and efficiently on purposes that support the general needs of the country. Good point. Iraq war? Money well spent. Coddling our lazy grandparents by paying them not to work? Total freaking waste! Before you call me greedy, make sure you operate fairly on both fronts. It is unfair for us to ask multimillionaires like yourself to accept a tax rate on income above $379,000 of 39.6% instead of 35%. Today, top earners, the 250,000 people who earn $1 million or more, the top 1%, pay 20% of all income taxes and take in nearly 25% of all income in the United States. And the 3% who earn more than $200,000, who take in about 42% of all income, pay almost half, almost half of all filers pay no income taxes at all. Do you hear me? Almost half of all filers pay no income taxes at all. That's right. Nearly half of all filing households in the United States have income so low that their federal tax burden is effectively zero. <coughs> the lowest quintile average about $12,400 per year. The second lowest quintile average about $25,000 per year. And the third lowest quintile average about $33,400 per year. Clearly they earn less and should pay less. Clearly, since the bottom 40% of the nation's households only own 0.3% of the nation's wealth. You can't squeeze blood from a turnip, but they should pay something and have a stake in our government spending their money too. And how much should they pay? Say, a family of four earning $12,400 per year. How much should they pay? $1,000? $2,000? I don't know. Something. Do you think it's fair for me to pay federal income taxes when all of these people don't pay any federal income taxes? No. And what do you say to those liberals who say it's also unfair that in nine hours you make more than 80% of the nation's households make in a year? I say, I earned it. Can't argue with that. After all, you're part of the top 1%, the 250,000 people who own 35% of the nation's wealth. Damn straight. And damn straight. Why should I pay an extra 4.9% in taxes when these lazy schlubs don't pay anything except sales taxes? It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Yeah! It's not fair, dummies. Do you hear that? This isn't fair. Dummy, go on. In addition, the extraordinarily complex tax code is replete with favors to various interest groups and industries, like the financial industry. Favors granted by politicians seeking to retain power. Yeah! Mortgage interest deductions support the private housing industry at the expense of renters. Yes, that's how I would put it. Rather than they encourage homeownership and provide the underlying assets for a significant portion of financial industry derivatives, generous fringe benefits are not taxed at all in order to support union and government workers at the expense of people who buy their own insurance with after-tax dollars. If only we could reform the health insurance industry. Gifts to charities are deductible, but gifts to grandchildren are not. Gifts to grandchildren should be deductible. Then we could stop giving to charities altogether. That's just a short list. And all of it is unfair. It's unfair. It's unfair. It's unfair. No doubt. You certainly got hit by the unfairness stick. You're like the poster boy for an unfair life. That fat girl in that precious movie has nothing on you. Damn straight. And you're damn straight. Damn straight. Dummies, that's all we have time for today. But there's more. There's much more. I know there is. 
Let's give a cheer to one of the great Americans, this titan of business, as represented by this dummy. Tune in tomorrow, and we will read you part three of my response to Buffett and Obama, written specifically for dummies. Validate the birth certificate.